So, so far we've learned how to create a function and how to get it to output to the page, but our goal here was to use our functions to help us update our form data. So let's start converting it over. First, instead of passing in two variables, we're only going to pass in one, and we'll just call this ID. Next, instead of returning T and Y, we're going to have it return our little bit of code here that grabs our document. And instead of having value one is set, we're just going to pass it through the ID. This will allow us to pass through a particular value and use this in multiple locations to grab whatever ID we need. So we'll set this equal to value one. And now we should be able to see that the same value we get in our HTML val, we should now get in function var. And we'll do two alerts to see this happen. We'll set the first one to HTML val, and the second one will be fu function var. Save it, and we'll take a look. First, we got our successful lessons do you want to learn, and then when we click OK, we get it again. Now, because we're doing multiple alerts, our browser is saying we can block these just in case something was suspicious. But right now, what's important is that we have the same information. Our function works. Now that we have a function that will allow us to grab the value we want, we're going to start working on one to update it. So first, we're not going to use these variables and alerts anymore. We'll get rid of them. What we're going to do instead is instead of outputting it in an alert, we're actually going to try to change things. So we're going to, instead of returning this, we'll set this equal to a new value. In this case, we'll set it equal to just new value. New value. All right. Now we have to call our function, remember, and pass it an ID. So we'll just say get val and we'll pass it value one. Now what happens when we load our page? Notice what we have here. That changes to new value. We've not only gotten the information from the page, but we've updated it. So that even though we didn't have to call PHP again, we were able to change the display that was seen on the page. It took the value that it had and gave it a new one. We can further expand this by adding more variables. Instead of just passing the ID, we can pass a text through. And we'll use text to display what we're changing it to. And here we'll do new value. But let's create another one. Currently we have our header, hello from creativeonlineschool.com. But if we set this header equal to an ID, and we'll call it val2, then we should be able to update it too. And we've already got our function, so we can just copy our call and change the information. Instead of doing value one, we'll do val2, and instead of saying new value, we'll just say welcome from creativeonlineschool.com. And let's run our page. You see, we've now updated both. We now have welcome for, from Creative Online School and new value. We didn't have to rewrite everything individually because we created a function and we just have to call that function and pass in the correct values. That's all for this video. We'll continue on in the next one.